Hello there, and welcome to my home office, where I will be spending most of my time during our virtual school year. My name is Mr. Hill, and I am one of the deans here at Blair Middle School. My job is to go over the expectations that we as your administration have for you during this time. It may look a little different, but there still needs to be rules and procedures that we need to follow in order to be successful. During this past summer, which was virtual as well, we came up with a chart to help students be successful in the digital environment. It went so well that we are going to use it again. Originally going to shoot another video, but in these times, it's important to work smarter and not harder. So without further ado, take it away, quarantined me. In this video, I will walk you through the expectations that the administration and faculty have for you throughout the summer. Being in a digital environment poses some unique challenges, but if we work together, I know we can make it work. Most of you have seen a PBIS matrix or chart posted around your school that have guidelines for behavior in locations throughout the school, such as the library, classroom, or cafeteria. We have modified this to reflect the digital environment, and instead of locations, we have scenarios. Let's take a look. At Norfolk Public Schools, we want you to have pride in what you accomplished this summer. So that's what we have based our metrics on. Pride. P stands for preparation. How ready are you for each scenario? R stands for respect. How do you treat others? I stands for integrity. Who are you when no one is looking? D stands for direction. Are you following the rules? And E stands for effort. Are you being your best you? These are the questions that you should be asking in the following scenarios. Entering class, teacher-led instruction, one-on-one -on -one instruction, small group activities, and virtual independent work. Now let's see how we can apply pride to each of these scenarios. For entering class, it is expected that you will prepare yourself by attending Zoom and online meetings, come to class with Chromebook charged, and having all materials ready. Respect yourself and others by being on time, being patient, and treating teachers and fellow students with respect. Show integrity by following the dress code, being aware of the area shown on the camera, and using cell phones and devices only for assignments. Follow directions by muting your microphone upon entry, remembering that virtual classrooms are a learning environment, and signing in to Zoom using your first name and last initial. You give your best effort by having all necessary materials requested, such as paper and pencil, to participate, starting warm-up assignments immediately, and setting up your Chromebook before class starts to make sure that you are on time. For teacher-led instruction, it is expected that you will prepare yourself by having all materials ready, paying attention to the teacher, and being ready to ask and answer questions. Respect yourself and others by using kind words and expressions, using the chat box to ask questions about assignments, and avoiding offensive language and overuse of capitalization. Show integrity by having your camera on at all times, using cell phones and devices only for assignments, and being genuine and sincere. Follow directions by using the raise hand button icon to ask a question or make a statement, Always using manners, yes, no, please, and thank you, and listening intently. Give your best effort by completing all the activities on time, asking questions if needed, and being a good listener. For one-on-one -on -one instruction, it is expected that you will prepare yourself by being alert and active when working with a teacher on the assignment given, and being ready to ask and answer questions. Respect yourself and others by using kind words and expressions, avoiding offensive language and overuse of capitalization, and accepting feedback from the instructor. Show integrity by having the camera on at all times, using cell phones and devices only for assignments, and being genuine and sincere. Follow directions by participating according to teacher directions, editing your work before submitting, and staying focused with the speaker. Give your best effort by participating in all activities and asking questions if needed. For small group activities, it is expected that you will prepare yourself by making sure you understand the directions, being ready to work with the group members on the assignment, and completing parts of the activity assigned to you. Respect yourself and others by working cooperatively with group members, addressing conflicts calmly, 
and avoiding offensive language and overuse of capitalization. Show integrity by having the camera on at all times, reporting problems to the teacher, and using cell phones and devices only for assignments. Follow directions by following the directions given on the assignment, collaborating with your group, and working only on current assignments. Give your best effort by staying focused on the assignments, doing your best on the assignment, and giving compliments to those in the group. And finally, for virtual independent work, it is expected that you will prepare yourself by checking your email daily for any updates from your teacher and checking student view for any missing work. Respect yourself and others by recognizing that completing the assignments shows respect for yourself and kindly communicating with your teacher if you are having difficulty. Show integrity by being sure you complete all of your work, doing your best on each assignment, and doing your own work. Follow directions by following directions given on the assignment and working only on the current assignment. Give your best effort by completing all activities on time and staying focused on the assignments. Oh, good job, me. Wasn't that informative? I hope this gives you a better picture about what a digital classroom environment is going to look like when we return to school this month. I hope you've had a great summer and we all look forward to seeing you in September. Take care.